Now, the amplifier is online, so we can make these settings in the real world. I know my subwoofer is on four, okay? So what I'll do is I'll come into four, into the crossover setting, and I'll enable a high pass and low pass filter, and I'll set up a butterwort. 24 dB per octave. I'll run this up to 30 hertz because that's about the coverage of that sub. Okay. Um, and that's being, uh, it goes a little higher than that. It does go as low as that actually, but I'm just trying to keep it simple. Butterwork, and then we'll cross over to 120. 120. Okay. What's the butterworth? How many decibels per? 24 dB per octave. So then I can gain, take, change, change the gain compensation. Now, what I'll do is we'll take... Where's your low pass? I can't see it. I'm sorry? Where's the low pass? 120 hertz. Okay. So but the cool part is we got a thump to it now. Mm -hmm. It's not as muddy. It's not got any vocals in it anymore. All the vocals are stripped. Sounds a little better than what it should, what it did before. Okay, so then we'll take channel three, which happens to be the little ceiling speaker that sounded a little hot, and so or sounded a little wrong. Um, I'll enable it and I'll run it up to 130 hertz, and we'll run it at Butterworth 24, and then I'll put a link with Riley at 18.5 k. There is a situation that kind of goes on right now with, um, with wireless microphones. Um, I let a lot of people know this. Wireless microphones now that HDTV is out. Uh, HDTV transmits a sync signal from the local hand transmitting towers when they, when they transmit. If you haven't frequency coordinated your wireless microphone receivers or systems to that, what can happen what can happen is the um, if someone turns off the transmitter, the receiver's out there trying to pick up anything to pick up. 